Reinforcing Arsenal's striking department is one of Arsene Wenger's main priorities when the transfer window opens. Goal.com's correspondent Wayne Vesey explains. So Arsenal are looking to buy um, a striker in the January window. That's their, that's their priority to, to reinforce their forward department. My understanding is that their number one target is Adrian Lopez, Adrian as he's known in Spain, who plays for Atletico Madrid. Arsenal have learned that he's got an 18 million euro, 14.6 million pound release clause in his contract. He hasn't agreed terms on a new deal with Atletico, so he is potentially available and they want to move it along and get him signed early in the January window. They don't want they don't want a late deal, they don't want him to they don't, they don't want to potentially lose him in the last hours of um, 31st of January. They they want the deal signed and sealed early in January. So things are going to start moving along in the next couple of weeks. He's been held in some quarters as the new David Villa. He can play anywhere across the front three. He plays the orthodox spearhead play on the right or on the left. He scored 18 goals last season for Atletico. They, they won the Euro Europa League and also has pedigree for the national team. Scored five goals and won the golden boot for Spain under 21s when they won the under 21 Euros last year and has also played for the Spain national team and scored on his debut as well. There's been a lot of talk in the Spanish press and also in the English press about Arsenal moving for Fernando Llorente, who plays for Atletico Bilbao. He hasn't signed a new contract and is available on a free next summer. He can sign for a foreign or agree at terms on a deal with a foreign club in January. But from what I'm told, he is not the main target for Arsenal. They like him, but he's not considered um, a serious alternative to Adrian for the principal reason is that he's too similar in style to Olivier Giroud who's already at Arsenal. Adrian, he, he offers something different, he's pacey and he's also available for a reasonable fee and because of his age, he's, he's just turned 24, he also has sell-on value which, which of course Arsenal like. Arsenal's striking department is going to evolve over the next 12 months. Jovino, crucially, who, who's played a little bit as the orthodox spearhead this season. He goes to African Cup of Nations at the start of January, could be away for six weeks. Theo Walcott, his future still in doubt, hasn't signed a new deal. Like Fernando Llorente, he can leave for free at the end of the season and he can sign a deal with a foreign club in January. So there's a bit of doubt about the, the forward options. Arsene Wenger doesn't see Lukas Podolski as a number nine. He played him exclusively on the left flank since, since he joined the club from Cologne and that looks like staying that way for the future. So he wants another forward who can rival Giroud and also maybe even complement Giroud. So that's why he's going for Adrian and there's doubts over Theo Walcott's future as well.